Egel. 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 Hey, what do you say, man? I talk it to you. <laughs> what's going on? I want to know what's going on. Well, today we're having some family, of course. <clears throat> Our daughter, Liva, is back home. And we just want to have family gathering. Immediate family, more or less. So, I, um, I have my minced meat. <clears throat> minced pork and beef already nicely seasoned with grind fresh herbs and um, so that's to make a Tamil pie now the Tamil pie is sort of like a pastel but instead of you having to wrap it into leaves you you put a layer of the minced meat with you put in the capers and olives and everything else and you put a layer on a nice big dish, the complete bottom layer of that, and then you you pre-cook your um, pumasa in a liquidy form, and then you just pour it over and you grate cheese. Mm -hmm. So that's the Tamil pie, and we're also going to do some baked chicken. Already seasoning this morning. Wow. So we're gonna bake this chicken. I will stuff it in a little while, but I'm just gonna put it to start a cook. And um, we do some dress as well. So we're just going to bake this. And you're gonna use two pans? Yes. Okay. And well, it will be just a normal roasted chicken. Mm -hmm. And when it's finished, you're going to sprinkle um, oregano to the top. Mm. So this can go into the oven at 350. Old Faithful and it go again? Old Faithful is still on the This Tamil pie. It's a, a um, I didn't know it in the old days when we got married. No, that's a recipe that my sister gave me years ago. Mm. So when it is not able to make pastel, you can do the tamil pie. So it's like a substitute for the pastel? Yes, a good substitute too. Ah. How's your shoulder this morning? Much better. Mm. But you know it takes a lot to keep Mama Lou down. Mm, Mama Lou boy. So Mama Lou, you, you, you enjoy having people here? All the time. Mm -hmm. Never ending question, man. Slut. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and the answer doesn't change. No, it doesn't. Will change, I guess. When I'm no longer able, Like the clip in your hair. The clip in my hair. Mm hmm And we're gonna do some potato salad. Mm-hmm. And um pigeon peas with pumpkin and coconut milk. Mm-hmm. We're also going to do our celery rice with corn in it and garlic. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. You cooked something yesterday, you said it, um, it was delicious, uh, what do you call it again? Uh, his curry. I curry, um, body with potato. Uh -huh. And I um, added some of his curry to to the other curries. Mm -hmm. So that was that was really good. Dish. 
think can set up within two million. Yeah. Red hot. Looking good. Thank you, Lam. Bill. Mm -hmm. I've been advised by um, viewers to stay away from all that heavy. And you're still steam. going in closer. No, no, no. I wasn't that close. And the breeze is taking it out anyway. You're taking chances, Lancy. No, you don't say you that. You will worry. You no. don't need to show the picture inside your oven. I, I just like how the red flame was looking. But don't panic anybody, please, because I am not near that stove. It looks near, but I am far away from it. Full speed ahead, girl. Full speed ahead. Huh? That chicken, you didn't buy that, did you? No, that a friend gave us that since for the New Year's. Mm. And seeing that I didn't get a get together for New Year's. This is what it is all about today. So the chicken came out of the deep freeze <laughs> and today she's getting nicely cooked. So thank you very much. What's the girl's name again? Judith. Judith. Judith, Judith. Thank you thank very much. Thank you very much. So the menu is like a sort of Christmas rice mm -hmm. with corn and pimento peppers, mm -hmm. and celery, garlic, um, and some tomato paste. So that's the rice, potato salad, mm -hmm. Tamil pie, mm -hmm. and um, pigeon peas, baked chicken, mm -hmm. ham. Mm -hmm. that I, well, I invited my neighbor across because usually at Christmas time, when we have our dinner, they would normally come with us, and she offered to do the ham. Very good. So that was very nice and kind of food. Yes. And I want to say that happy birthday to Tara Ramdular. Tomorrow is her birthday. Very good. Sunday, happy tomorrow. birthday. Hope it is a special one, Tara. Uh, Enjoy to the fullest. Very good. Very good. And I would also like to hail out to... Um, let's get some, let's get Michael some. Michael Sambrano. Yes, yes. Michael, you could have been here for lunch today, but maybe you're going to come later on in the year. <laughs> Michael Sambrano, um, Marcy and Ken, mm -hmm. Tony and Shanta, we are looking forward to you all coming. Um, the Indra, Bimpy Indra. What um, we should really do is get the... Um, we yeah. only talked that. No, we, let me get the <laughs> iPad and scroll through some names. Right? Yes. Sir. So I'm going to leave this here on you a bit. Good. Mm -hmm. Focusing on the kitchen area. Oh, yes. And we're also going to be making a fresh green salad mm -hmm. with celery sticks and cucumbers and um, lettuce, watercress. Yeah. So it's going to be quite a busy morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here with you, right, Louis? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and as I go along, I may just remember some more names. Wilma. Uh, we were here last mm -hmm. Wilma like... White. Mm -hmm. um, Steve. Steve Singh. Vicky. Um... Also, yes, so I'm going to be peeling the pumpkin for my pigeon peas, the coconut milk. My lambs get you all with iPad. Mm. Oh, sorry. You, you need to check out there, Louis. Over there. Where? Check there. You're getting somewhere there. What are you saying? Look in your rack tag. Uh, let's 
saying now. So in the meanwhile, when the, the kitchen gets busier, I want to hail out to a glorious Spooner. Glorious Spooner, thank you for your, your interest in that I don't go near the stove for the fumes. I appreciate that very much. Patricia Bedo, Marceline, Marceline, Marciel, sorry, Marciel. I'm thinking of the ghost of Cora. <laughs> uh, we have here Maria Mahadio. Wanna hear all this to these folks? Peggy. As I said, Tara, tomorrow is her birthday and all the best to you, Deborah. Betty of Florida, Jacqueline Madu. Mm. Lima Richards Sandra Kitwana Thank you very much Thank you very much Mario De Castro Maria Mahadio Mahadio Thank you, thank you sir Vidya 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 Ra Oh God, this is, this is terrible Let me get this correct Vidya Ramjas. Okay, thank you, thank you. Vidya Ramjas. All oh, right, buddy. I think bad with your eyes, Lancelot. Yeah, it is bad, but nevertheless, we don't have to focus with it. Okay. Let's go on again. Let us think about Faz. Faz, you go right ahead, you call. Faz and, and Deborah Subrat, Suraj. I called her. You did? I did, I did. Mm. Mm. Names are... Radha Rivers. Thank you very much, Radha Rivers. You have been also there. Commended. Don't, despite the fact that we can't remember all the names, we appreciate the support. I tell you, it really is important. I would like to hear a especially to... Of course, Eddie Manchu, mm -hmm. our good old friend in Canada there, who is very faithful, taking care of his wife. I always like to commend on his faithfulness and his sincere and love to his beloved wife to take care of her at this time. Eddie, keep up the good work. We are in your, in your corner. Yes, and Danish, of course, and, and Vince, thank you very much for your help and support. Not forgetting Jacob and Nish and the family. Mm -hmm. I see you progressing with your building of your home and that's great. Lyndon and Kimberly. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see now. Let's sit back and get some more names under me. By the time I finish peel this piece of pumpkin, you need to call about five names, eh? Okay, Cindy Graves. This is a okay. challenge, you know. Mm -hmm. Rosalind, of course. Rosalind, Randy of course. Hiralal. Okay, Randy Hiralal. Sandy's cup of tea. Mike and Sandy. Wow. Sita Fazula. Very good, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Gita Puran. Oh yes, we're coming on with some names now. Indra Sinanan. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry that I, I, I can't make it as exciting as this song. <laughs> yes, yes. Because I am really kind of flat out now in <laughs> getting these we're names not together. Excuse the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. You have yes. to excuse the eyes. Don't worry. Don't worry. One, don't worry, darling. You're doing okay. Huh. Yes, I'm done. <laughs> You done out? <laughs> I'm done out. I'm done out. I'm done out. <laughs> but I really thank you, you guys, for really being here with us. So what does what does this pumpkin go now? The pumpkin. Where, this is for the pigeon peas. With the pigeon coconut peas. milk. Okay, right. Good, good. Yes. So that, this is a pre prepping. Ah. Because this will be done in a little bit. Okay. 
So while you while you talk with the friends there, uh, I, I am taking the opportunity to to do this. Right. Yes, but we want to thank you all very much. We are very bad at calling out of names, being a little forgetful, being a little much of senior citizens. <laughs> names he gave us. Hmm. So please bear with us. But nevertheless, we do appreciate all of you. Appreciate the encouragement that you all give us to continue our little video journey in journeys in our life mm -hmm. and we really hope that it can be of help to the young couples and even among the elderly because each day each day is something new yes that's right when you're young you're learning to know who are, to know each other for who you really are and then when you are middle age you know, you're so busy with the entire family that you you put it, you put each other maybe on the back burner. Mm. And then when you get older, it's like, who are you? Well, I you <laughs> <laughs> who are you? <laughs> so it marriage is a learning process. It's mm. never that is why it's like a garden. Day by day you have to attend to it. Day mm. by day. Mm. Because if you just it doesn't get better. Mm with its twists and turns along the way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get better, but what we must never do is fall out of love. That's because right. love is what will take us through the journey. That's right. So continue to love each other. And even if you're falling out of love, rekindle the love. Yeah, it's not too late. Mm -hmm. Hope not. <laughs> well, you know, life is like these little rough edges. Eh? There's so much good under it. Hmm? The rough skin, the rough patches, and yet look at the quality indoor. Beautiful pumpkin. They call, I, the guy said this is the guy. Now long ago we would call this crapoback pumpkin. Uh, uh, you see the roughness at the back. Mm -hmm. We will call it crapoback pumpkin. But you know, with time everything changes. I'm so you right. say they call this sweet mama. Sweet mama. <laughs> I think it's a pretty nice name, Sweet Mama. But because it is exactly what we're saying. Because it is really nice. It's yeah, really and sweet. under the, the roughness of the skin. Yes. Right? The rougher the skin, the sweeter the pumpkin is. Are you saying then that the rougher the life, the sweeter things can come out? Well, if it could bring out the best in you. You know, we're not always willing for the rough patches, eh? No. It says yeah, experiences not. must not make you bitter, must make you better. Mm, very good, very good. And, and you know, someone quoted once that when um, <clears throat> those three boys were in the in the lion's den. No, one was in the lion's den. Um, the fire. Mm, yeah. The burning fire. The three were in the fiery furnace. The fiery furnace. Yeah. And they said that when they came out, mm. there was no smell of, of the, the smoke. smoke. Mm -hmm. So we do go through bad experiences. Mm. But when we come out of it, we must not have the smell of the smoke. Mm. But what should come out is be to be better. To be better. Yes. Okay, that's very really nice. Yeah. Very encouraging. So, do have a pleasant day. We look we'll forward. We'll be back. We'll, I'll be back. I am just going to take a walk, see what the garden looks like. Right. Get down to the back, see what's happening there. Yes, Lasana is on the action. Yeah. <laughs> so, be back shortly, right? Okay, take care. Thank you. Hey, crazy. I was just coming to look for you, man. With my life, come to wash up the rice. All right. Yeah. I look, that's really good. Can you help me? Mm-hmm. You put up your rice already? I know, we're not going to. Is this for me, I don't know, Santa? I wish for you. <laughs> Soon it will be. Soon it will be. Soon it will be, eh? Yeah, make it. We ever tried growing? This is our one. Come, measurement here. Yeah. yeah. So we're looking at six tablets. One couple feet, how many? One Two and a half people. Two and a half? Yeah. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Four. 
Well, the way I feel now, I think I'm, I'm, I'm qualified for the half. Eh? I feel we we'll do five pumps. Right? Mm -hmm. That is not five. Whatever you need, you got something more. I know you're like in back with you. Well, I know what I'm studying is if we'll be able to boil all that rice in one shot. Uh huh, okay, okay. But I know three, six cups is three pounds. And you're using the biggest pot? I, I, I use it up on the half, you all get through it. Okay. Anyway, just a little bit of rice remaining here, so we just. Well, that is what I was going to tell you that. Use it out rather than mix it. Can I have a piece of this, um, carrot? Thank you. Mm hmm Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to send out condolences to Trini Yorker, his grandmother passed away. Oh my. Yeah, so you mentioned it in our video. So condolences to Trini Yorker and the entire family. You see a girl calling him Trini how to comment him. Trini how to? I think I've seen her. Yes, she comment a lot on all the videos. Uh -huh. So, she is wife to Trini Yorker. Okay, okay. Her name is Trisha. Okay, Trisha. Thank yeah. you, Trisha. Thank you very much. Sorry about the sad state of affairs at the moment. I'm passing out. Trini Yorker's mom, right? Yeah. Grandmother? Shout yes. So then I shout out to Mira, to Shavani. Right? Oh, yes, Patricia Bedo, Dolly Mullet, Judy T, Diamond Rays, oh boy, Santa. Happy days. Nazim Narain, Robert Ramdas, somebody, Big Naranjit out. Johnson. Naranjit Johnson. Right, right. He right. knows Mr. Sutton well, you know. Really? Yes, Mr. Sutton actually cooked for his wedding. Yeah. Let me skip across here now. So here you are, Lancelot. I'm coming to you, Anna. Mm -hmm. So in how many minutes would you turn that or whatever? No, you leave not minutes. That's a, that's a lot of cooking for you. at least an hour or so. Okay, so you would say by eleven then. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what so are you up to? I'm not this meat in here. Mm -hmm. Is that light one over the stove, Louis? Can you put it on? Can you slip it on? Please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's for the Tamil pie, yeah? Tamil is what? Syrian? What is this? Daddy, I don't go into all of that philosophy about cooking, you know. Oh, okay, okay. You just grab a name and do it. I just follow the recipe. Mm. Yeah, but to say make a step. You don't know the background to no, anything. No, no, I really don't know. Um, but I know that pastel is Spanish. No. But it's very similar to the pastel. Mm. So I don't know if it is. Still Spanish. Mm. Well, okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, when Khadija, Khadija was here and she mentioned going to Senegal, I looked it up yesterday. Senegal is a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. You want to take me? Uh, we, go, we go to Bego first. <laughs> <laughs> and Senegal is beautiful. It is really beautiful. And you know what I noticed in some of these countries? And I guess that's where it, it comes from. Mm -hmm. Right? Sorry, you want it on you? Okay. Well, as I find it too exciting watching two buttons. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, then I'm, I should come across it. <laughs> it's not exciting watching two pots, right? Two pots, and, and you know, it's nothing exciting and going on. Anyway, let me tell you about this. And they were serving a meal. This guy had gone to, I think it was, um, where did he go to, boy? But, but they were serving pilau. Palau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were serving Palau. And but Palau is African, you know. Yeah, boy, and it looks really. It looks so much like what we have. 
Yeah, yeah. but that, that, there are some clear cut things that are African that were brought here years ago. Mm-hmm. But like, all right, like in, in Venezuela, they call something you call pilaf. Uh. Which is nothing like our pilaf. But it's a one pot, but rice with different seafoods, mm-hmm. shrimps and chip chip and you know, different, mm. a lot of different seafoods. Mm. Very good, very good yeah. man. But pilaf is definitely African. So it's cuckoo. Mm-hmm. Right, and a, an, a, a, an African, Chini Trin, African. Challenge you? Challenge me with the cuckoo because <laughs> my sister in law boasting that the best cuckoo she ever eat is Mama Lu cuckoo. Yeah. Hey, hey. So I did take, it was her birthday, and she had a celebration, and I took the cuckoo. Mm. And she had rated me up as the best cuckoo maker. And this African, pro-African lady, she said, I challenge you, I can give you a good competition, I'll come first. <laughs> I back out, boy. <laughs> I say, take win, darling. <laughs> because how it will be to have a challenge with a pro-African background person uh, against a half-breed Indian and no African <laughs> and I win the contest. I said, darling, take it. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. Okay, Mr. Sala, I want to track you now. Can you track me? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Louise. Okay, you can just talk the little thing here. It's going to be higher. Mama Lou doesn't want to let me go. Will you better stay right here with Mama Lou? No, 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 I'm coming to the back. Lanchy, Lanchy, focus on the pot when nothing happening. Okay, Sana? Yeah. I say, well, you know, the pot just cooking like that, and you turn in the pot or nothing. And mm-hmm. But remember, I can't get too close to that stove, huh? Right, that's right. I am seeing right, a lot of steam coming out of there. That's true, sir. That and if my doctor sees me, he will be annoyed. Yes, and your wife is carried away. So what, is, what are we going to do here now, Sarah? You, huh? got, you got another? Or are you going to the back? No, I'm going to the back. Okay, well, I'll follow you whenever you move, right? Sana, I will cut up the carrots and the yam. Okay, sure. So, much for your potato salad. Look at that, Sana, look at that, look at that. <laughs> According to, um, to Southwest Adventures, look at it, man, look at it, look at it go. <laughs> huh? Southwest? Yeah, Southwest. Okay, Lou. You ready, Sana? Yes, you're going to take a walk. You can take a walk. I'll take a walk in a little while. But I like how this thing is going. Remind me of the old merry go wrong that we used to have long ago. <laughs> when you had trade you fairs. Know. You remember trade fairs? When you used to have trade fairs long ago? Hmm? Okay, this is be down on Rice Road? Of course. No, Louise, you weren't even wrong then. So you don't even know Rice Road at that time. Eh? Yeah? Where are my olives and my capers? I have no idea. Are you available, Mr. Mateen? Not quite. Not yet, Cindy. I will come to you in a little while and fix you up. Mm-hmm. I'll just check how this thing is moving. You ever had a, um, a visit to the trade fair? No, no, no. We said you have a lot of things. Where? Not, not, not in the carcass, you know. I'm talking about trade fair that. Teachers? Right. So these are your capers here, which we'll add to this. I like capers, huh? can I get one or two after? Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Thank you, Mama Lou, you've been very kind. And some olives. Mm-hmm. What is that going into, Louise? The Tamil pie. 
But very fine. Mm. Don't live on the edge, you know, Lou. <laughs> Don't ever succumb to the edge. So you're going to chop that up. Is there no gadget to make that, um, to help you with that chopping? Unless you employ me? Yeah. Okay. There's your mincemeat. Okay, a quick peep. When you were a young girl in the carcass, right? Mm -hmm. You used to think about these things, you know, about having a home and having, you know, people come over to it? I suppose, yes. But you think a lot of young people these days envisage having people at their home? Visitors? I think as our culture of those things have changed. The young people when more go to a restaurant and they, everybody chip in and pay for their own meal. We have soon become like America. Mm -hmm. The first time I saw that in America I was a little bit surprised, you know. That everybody they went to lunch and everybody start pulling out their money to pay their own bill, you know. Uh -huh. But it has become that now in Trinidad. But I guess we came from, from an era, although things, people were not rich, they knew about sharing, you know, they knew about cooking at home, cooking at home and inviting others, mm -hmm. it, 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 it was effortless. Mm -hmm. it's, it, true, it's true, it's true, it's true. It was an effortless thing, somebody dropped by and you get a meal. Yeah. It still, still happens in Trinidad. But um And then there was a family consciousness that ran, eh? Yeah. You know, your family coming around for you for the weekend. Yeah. You're sure. happy, you're cooking. What's your menu? Mm -hmm. But I guess these days people are so financially strapped and oh, burdened yeah. with so many things. Yeah, yeah. That a lot of people work for a lot more money now. Like cost of living is so high that but there yeah. is a lot of people too can't afford these days too much. Eh? Yeah, we I have to accept afford. that fact that they, they cannot, they cannot afford. <laughs> Good. Mama Lou is very spontaneous in cooking. Huh? That, that was that's long time matronly young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you were about to embark on the food bars with people. Yeah. You have to have on a cap on it. Um, yeah. and everything white. But people do it, eh? The people who sell in, uh, you know, the vendors, yeah, they have yeah, to be, they have to be particular. Food. Yeah, you have to, you have to be like that. I guess if you want to wear an apron in your home, you, you want to do it to protect your clothing. Yeah, but you that, know? that requirement now is a public food, you know? Public, yeah, public cooking. But it looks good. Some people recommend and they, and they, they would say, you know, wear something on your head also. Your hair could drop. Your hair could drop. Yes, yes. And while you're eating, a moustache develops internally. Eloi? Uh, a strand of hair <laughs> gets in. <laughs> yeah. Unpleasant, of course, but it happens. Of course, if you go to a public, if you go to a restaurant, and you you find something, you know, a little upsetting, I suppose you are entitled to tell, you know, the waiter, and maybe even get the meal exchanged. But there's no guarantee that they'll take it to the back and exchange it, eh? They might just take all the hair. <laughs> take all the hair, spruce it up, and bring it back for you. Yeah. Well, actually, I guess if you have to take a walk, by the time you come back, uh, I will be doing the Tamil pie. The Tamil pie? Mm-hmm. 
How many minutes? So that's 25 after 10 there now. About 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you in 10 minutes then. Yeah. Thank you. Well, are we getting it for you when you're ready, eh? Yes. I have a piece for your tissue. Okay. Lovely day here in Print City. The weather is mild. A little overcast to the south, but beautiful still. Mr. Sana? Any 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 progress in the back here? Yeah man. I am so very happy that you invested in this Lotus. No, well actually it's um, Imtaz and Maureen Khan. Oh, I... They, uh, they sent the money to purchase this. Sir. Oh my, yeah. thank you Imtaz and... Yeah, Imtaz and um, Maureen. Maureen, okay, okay. From New Jersey. From New Jersey, well look at that. New Jersey to the backyard here and it's going guns. And they have a beautiful backyard too. Hey, yeah, beautiful, yeah. Thank you very much. You help me with your money. A, a lot of meals inside here, you know. Mm hmm. Me on there, yeah. Yes. Yes, Lasana. Wow. You feel hydrated? I feel hydrated. Yeah, indeed, eh? Good old NP boy. You want to hear something interesting? Yes. I went to the agriculture shop yesterday. Uh huh. To purchase some seedlings. And I was mentioning to the to be the that was mm -hmm. that are getting a lot of problems with the big eye creeps. Uh, that's a bird, of course. Yeah, yeah. So, what happened? As I mentioned, the big eye creep, she started to laugh. So I said, what happened? She said, boy, you won't believe. Most of the people that come in to purchase plants, this is, yeah, sure. This is one of the problems that they're having. One minute, please. Let me. Yeah. Let me make myself comfortable. Set up the studio, man. Let me make myself comfortable. Mr. Sana's face has not been visible for a long spell, but he has granted me. I feel a little. I feel a little good looking today. Yeah. Yeah. People are going to be so happy. They've been yeah. clamoring for looking at you. Yes. So what she told me is that about six years ago, there was a really terrible bushfire right. on the northern range okay and what they want to believe is the big eye greaves which i can tell you when i was growing up in Trinity, i never saw these big eye greaves down here so i was quite shocked when i came down here to see so many of them so it look as though with the bushfires they migrated to this Trinity area yes but they never returned to the hills right because remember a lot of people have little kitchen gardens here mm -hmm. so they're getting quite a lot of food a lot of fruit trees so this is one of the problems with things like bushfires too and yes sometimes Nana. it may push yes it may push a species out of its habitat. original habitat yes 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 and now listen i was speaking to a lady from montague and she says she does not plant cucumbers ah. Because I actually had two cucumber seedlings here and the big eye greaves eat it down to the ground. So they're edible? You can you can I'm not too sure boy. Huh? I'm not too sure. You remember the time somebody um I think it was somebody oh, what was it again? A heron? Uh what was it? What do you call those long the white birds? Oh <laughs> a galling. But what we have them around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Egrets. The egret. I eat one another already. But it was greasy? It wasn't so greasy, you know. Huh? No? No. Okay. But okay. the level I cut it open, there's only grasshoppers and ticks and things. well, I cream down. Okay, okay. You eat from that? I think scrapes eat from that too? Yeah. Huh? 
Why? So what was the um, recommendation for the pig eye grief? Oh, you may have to use like nets or if you're really, like I really want to plant some cucumbers here. Because I just love to see cucumbers grow. Yeah. Right? Particularly if you put them to run up like on a trellis. Yes. But I may have to probably think about creating like a little tree by tree enclosure. Maybe drape some plastic around and just put a saran net into the top. Okay. You okay. know? But that will be specifically to to grow cucumbers. You have done that in Cora? I never had to. Never I had never had this problem. Maybe it's because all the big eye greens move out. Yeah, they probably don't. Probably not on Rangers. I never had this problem in Cora before. Well, you know, they say, I, I, you know they say I got large eyes. Well, I go to tell you, you look like a big eye green too. <laughs> <laughs> You look well, Sana. Yeah, man. Yes, yes, yes. You look well. You tapered. You tapered nicely. Yeah. People are gonna be very happy to see you, honestly. Oh yes, man. You mm -hmm. have really trimmed down. The rice is coming on. I'm gonna catch some of that water falling there. Yeah, man. You can't run. Oh, potato, man. Okay, no boy. Sala, you really enjoy cooking, eh? What? You like gardening, especially you outdoors. You know, you have really trimmed off nicely, you know? Yeah, I eat in for 15 pounds a year. And it's been me true walking, eh? And the rest is, you know, just really trying to avoid. Right. I try to have healthy meals the majority of times. Mm -hmm. But when I, when I indulge in, I indulge in. Mm -hmm. I need to go and get some ice, boy. You're going to get through that, man. Hmm? You'll get through that. I have, I have very little desire to go out. I'll go on it. Amazing how you're background helps eh? you know you went to hotel school and yeah. although you ended up in NP NP and this and this, NP. and this what I'm doing here <coughs> excuse me this what I'm doing here right now mm. is riverside techniques riverside techniques yes explain well I don't have any way to decant this entire pot of water because uh -huh. we don't have a sink here okay so I'm doing uh, I'm fishing out the ingredients Okay. There we have it. That's the entire um, lot that you cut? Yep. Nice. Bubble up for that. What do you say, brother? Yeah, what's it, man? Yeah, man. What do you man say? What's it, man? Do you think it's a man? You gotta come and give me a little lyric here. Yeah. I want to, I want to look at you. I can hear your voice. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Perfect. Yes, Mr. Batiste. Tell you, it's, it's river style technique here. Ah. I'm ready to strain that rice just now. Okay. So I need to spot empty here. I'll rest my strainer on top there. Mm -hmm. Like this. Look at the capsule. Okay. 
And then when it cools, you throw it in their garden? Yeah, because I'm mix some water with it and we are throwing out our plants. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, folks. It's nice when your kids have grown and they're still around in a measure. Circumstances, of course, create some things. You know, one doesn't expect your children to be always there, but you have to value them while you have them. And then circumstances come along and they have their own homes, and then some things work and some things don't work. And you accept that. But in time, everything gets sorted out. You just long that marriages would work, you know, especially where children are involved, you would want that family should know about stability. I feel happy to record your progress, not only with the cooking of the rice and the potato, <laughs> But your so Simon, do you plan do you plan at any time to go back to the lives? Yes, probably in about two months then. Two months? Yeah. Okay. Two months then. Okay. Have you thought of any any um, new approaches to the to the life that you might do? Um well I had already um started at maybe like about a week before the new year mm. you know I, I i i changed the direction of the lives you know um the the channel was full with a lot of emotion last year you know now i disconnect emotions from it mm -hmm. you know basically you know just healing on people, keeping the community alive, trying to spread positivity. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes, thank you, Francis. Good, I'm people. Just no sign, yeah, no noise in the kitchen. What happened? Blue in the kitchen. If I was in the kitchen, I'd have nothing. Yes, nice boy, right hand to give me back. Yes. Yeah. Really, thank you very much. Cakes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll come back for it. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. When? Oh, I felt I felt a bit tired. I still feel tired, honestly, you know. Yeah, but I ch I took my pressure and it was pretty good. Yeah, that is great, Ali. Luis, here I am again. Are you ready for me in there? Yes, darling. Okay, this is a real roundabout <laughs> version of things, Sana. Would you come back to the, the, the... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, she went back to get some, some stuff. That's right, brother. All right. Mm. Okay, Mama. Mama Lou, I'm back with you. Okay. Yes, a minute, eh? Sure, you go right ahead. So this, this episode here, at this point, is about the Tamil pie? Yes. Okay. Yes, no problem. Taste it and tell me what you think. Mm-hmm. A little taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I didn't, I forgot to buy is reasons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Goodies from the neighbor. Mm. We have been neighbors from. Have like a big to drink over that cake. Paul, Francis, and family have been, we have been neighbors since 1975. 
I'm 49 years in, in April coming up. How many years? 49. Yeah, I'll bring it to you. Thank you. My maths is pretty good. From 75 mm -hmm. to now. I'll be 45. 75? Mm -hmm. That'll be 49 this year. 49 this year. The day we moved yeah. here, Francis and Pearl also came to begin doing their little clean up there. And we were doing the same on this side. The yard was hard baked clay, not a tree in sight. Today, Bolio has a lot of trees. Bolio is beautiful. Bolio is what it says in the name, beautiful place. Lots of families, kids. Everybody's kids were like the ages of um, 10 years, might have been the oldest. Mm. Actually, Liba was just two years. She celebrated her second birthday in Principi. Mm. Her second birthday was celebrated here. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty lady, kids might have been like nine and ten. This one at home. Thank you. Mm. Okay. So what we have to do now, we have already put some sugar in there and we're going to put in some salt mm -hmm. and we are going to mix this from Asa. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like when you're doing the cuckoo? Yes. Okay. So we're going to... Layer this off. Uh, of course, it is missing some raisins. Mm -hmm. Yellow cornmeal. Colorful, isn't it? That smile again. You're well happy to do these things, eh? <laughs> Supposing you had a husband who didn't support you in wanting to have people at their home, at his home, and didn't want to have, you know, <clears throat> just wanted to be in the background, quietly, not to go in any way. you and I, just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. How, how, would, it, how would it have been? Well, I think that I would have um, been unhappy. Yes, but I would have known that. I think in um, in our relationship, going to visit your family, mm -hmm. I would have probably recognized these people are very young, private, and not given to entertaining. Mm -hmm. And it tells a story. The hands, the importance of hands in the background, of really young, knowing. Knowing your background. Your background. Your partners, yeah. your mates, background. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, you will really only know what the person is like when you know about your family. Right. Just as how when you came to our home, you knew that it was an open place. Mm -hmm. You know. And it hasn't changed, yeah? Yeah. That's the thing about it. The germinating pre cooked yellow cornmeal. Wow, that's that's a high Well of course you know. Mr. Lasana is an advocate for cleaning up after as your work. Sana. But I thought I'll come and say me this thing MD here so I can wash up this. <laughs> Put it in, I will do it for you. I have no fear. Mr. I like to say that I could run and see you, eh? Don't worry, Sana, I'll do it. Alright now this one MD thing. Which one? This one. Mm -hmm. I'll handle it. 
Is he a good boy? Yes, man. Mm -hmm. So now we are going to mix this cornmeal in there. How do you average that? Well, you have to get it thickened. So it all depends on how. As I say, you know, I am not a cook with a recipe. <laughs> to say two cups of Kumasa flour. No, 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 I'm not a cook. The guys are skipping me as I do what I do. <laughs> I am not guiding you along. You can try it. <laughs> you can try it, if you, especially if you're left-handed. <laughs> right? But the idea is, it has to be... That consistency must be there. Yes. So when you cook it, it, then you just pour it over this. So I hope I did enough to cover both. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, you know what I like about you, Mama Lou? You ain't worrying about the professional touch. You're, you're just happy just to do. I just know it tasted good when it's finished. It tasted good, eh? Let's just take that water and just throw it into that pot from Keith Allen. Mm -hmm. As I always say, I am not a cook Which? and I'm not a psychologist. Which? But I All do of it? All of it? Yeah. I do my do. What's that inside of that pot? That is the arm for the this one. Whoa. You make it like a pastel pie? Or? Yeah. Oh. Tamil pie. You know about it, Sana? You had it maybe? Yeah, I had it already. Tamil, you find them in Sri Lanka? <laughs> I wonder if it's spelled how it's spelled. Not T A M I L. Anyway, somebody will come up with the answer. Right yes, Bob, so you are not a, you are not a, you are not a, 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 a cook. I'm not a cook to You say. cook, but you're not a cook. A professional say, cook. A professional cook. No, no, no. I cook, and it comes out good. Mm -hmm. But if you're depending on me to say, give you a good recipe, how do you do it? Okay, I was just going to look for that pot holder. Mm -hmm. The idea of mixing it first is that it will be, it will be smooth, there will be no lumps. Okay, very good. Just like when you're doing the cooking. Mm -hmm. Can I have more water in the kettle? No, no more. You poured good well. Mr. Sana come in time. Sana, Sana. Sana come inside in time to save the day to start a wash up oil. This is a way to make an excuse. Friends in Penetrium, we got So you have to make sure that the cornmeal is properly cooked. Of course, it's going to be baked after. Oh, no, 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 I'm just reminding you, but I'm not there to I confuse, can. I'm not there to confuse you, sorry. I cannot see about this and look at you, are you chicken? <coughs> okay, okay, girl, yeah, I'm just reminding you. You know when you're not doing anything, just taping, you feel yeah. a kind of... You feel you want to supervise? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> I want to step out of bounds. Where is the, the wooden spoon? No, I don't need wooden spoon now. No, no. You don't need it? Uh, I was 
but I have you. Yeah, true. I do. Now, you can do me a one. Yeah? Yeah. Is this that makes a good one, eh? Yes. Now this really and truly takes away the work of wrapping pastel and folding it. Oh, but yeah. <clears throat> so it, it, it's an easier way to do pa to do pastel. Mm -hmm. It's pretty close. It comes out pretty close to pastel. So you're gonna use chow chow with that? Yeah. Mm. I, like, I like how you're sculpturing the thing there. Hmm? Mm. Can we end up in the museum, you know? Ha! Is that right? Huh? You wish he's handling this thing here. Can I end up in the museum, you know? Yeah. A work of art. Yeah, man, it is a work of art. So you have to be sure that you spread it evenly. Mm -hmm. And this makes a how long? Not long, maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. So this is Tamil pie. You know they say when you're wet in your plants, right? When you're wet in your plants. You touch them, you smile with them. You smile when you cook it too. Eh? You find I look like I ain't smiling or what? Yeah. You, you're too serious there with that Tamil pie, boy. Just, just, ah. Just give me a nice little smile as you're doing the Tamil pie, boy. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, you know, This is no laughing matter? No. This is my smoke taking place here. Yeah. It's a, a work of art. A work of art, right. So that concentration, there have to be a certain amount of concentration. Okay, I agree with that. If someone comes to distract you know, from taping, mm. what you think you will be smiling at that? No, 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 I would say, please, please. <laughs> Withdraw. Thank you. You need to be a little more liquefied, but that's good. It's good. But of course, you get a little, you know? Mm, a little firm. stiff. Firm. You say firm rather than stiff. Yeah. Is correct. The basin would have put a, a, a touch of water, right? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Delicately done, man. Some big smiling and doing this. Mm -hmm. Of course, you could be smiling and doing that. I'm smiling and taping you. Please keep the corn meal in the fridge. Yeah, is it open now? Sana? Mm -hmm. Wait, you want me to go for that now? No, no, in a while. Yeah, we go get a little bit of here. Mm -hmm. Should I do? Hmm? Don't get the ice. Don't get the ice. It's taken 10 minutes to get the ice, Lancy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you add butter to that now? Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's for any butter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clean up as you go. <laughs> well, it doesn't happen as we go. <laughs> so, you get it going. Let me tell you, 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 let yeah, you put it on here and just hope that it works. Okay, Lancy, you can finish your touch. Finishing touches? Okay, let's see it. Oh man, oh that's come a long way. You did both. Oh, Bobby, you did well. You did very well. Sana, you see that? Yeah, boy, boss. Yeah, mum. Yeah. You can smile now? Yes, I can smile now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the serious I am, Mama Lou. Mm -hmm. That's the serious. It's serious, you're serious you could find. <sighs> Thank you, Sana, boy. I turned around there and I wondered if it was a friend kitchen. It's careful to get blue, man. Yeah. <laughs> you wondered if you went to someone else's kitchen? Yeah. Look at Oh, my. You could rest it on this cloth. Huh? You have to tilt it? Yeah. Take that fat and treat on top of it. Yeah. She could do that. I wouldn't want her to get burned. Huh? Mm -hmm. Lance, but if you do like it, fall down, no, don't you go for it? No, 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 no. Injuries <laughs> happen. Injuries happen. We don't want to. We don't want you to get injured, that's all. A word of caution must never be interpreted as ridicule. Not ridicule, but... Mm. Or lack of confidence. No, 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 that has nothing to do with it. Maybe I should help you hold that pan. Yeah. Of course, and they're colorful and new, they're nice. Cayman Island. Something wrong here. I think. It... Oh. 
Anyway, we'll Sorry, go. Hassan. Right. I can't say too many cooks for the broth because it ain't broth today. <laughs> Yeah, what's all the plant in this? I found it already. Hey, wait a minute, that's right. You had that, um, you had that. It never came to anything? Real good, that get tall so. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Did, you a, did you get a chance to flip the kitchen? Did you chicken already? No, I just put the tie up. Ah, okay. You must be smelling for The mitten? Or it could be something like a wet one fuzzy touch. Mm -hmm. Something. I see you have a piece here. This is for the That's potato right. salad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Thank you, sir. The picture piece is simple and easy. I wish I could all the I like how you, you make work simple. You have a receptacle there, there's something there. And look at that, Louis, the guy. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but is that natural for them? If you don't have the natural flair, you're in trouble, huh? Eh? Yeah, I think you have to make it simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, natural flair.
Mon Miguel. From where I sit or stand. To only look in real professional way. <laughs> They're really more than nice things, have I? Yeah. Mama Lu. I think it Dry your back a bit. I want to put no, no, no. Mommy, want some coffee here? Hmm? No, no, I just want some coffee. Can I have coffee for you? Yeah, I can take some away. And then let's cover it. I thought we'll bring that in here next. Look at 
I don't feel it because I want me. But I will go by the shop and find you then. You want some sugar in your coffee, boy? Mm-hmm. Mm? No, that's all right. That my own then? Yeah. I'll come back. That's my hotel, huh? Well, I have some to make. I don't think any of those are good. You want someone working that? No, no. Then you, do it. Yeah, it's going to be nice. You want more? No? Yes, the mama. Is that picking up? It's picking up? Mm hmm. You have salt in here, is it? No. So we first gonna cook your, our pumpkin, bring it to a soft position before we add the pigeon peas and then the coconut milk. So marinated was garlic, onion, and hot pepper is in there. She blow, can't go on. Especially carrims. Mm -hmm. You have different brands. Mm -hmm. But for my case, I like carrims. Mm -hmm. Salon, you want some of this? No thanks. Young chip, they're one of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, who got her first asana? Be pin drop. Real, real, real. She real, said she's not asana, it's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Come drop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a real busting. Because if you rest up on this, it could crack. Not, not the time. The, 
Pirates edition itself. All of that um, liquid there yeah. is from the you chicken. Take it out there. Mm. You see, that's to tell you how. Imagine it, it, it took off your skin and left all of that. Well, it's not too much fat, but the seasoning went in too, you know. All right, listen. This one locking. I like to put freshly cooked carrots with potato salad rather than down the chin because sometimes it's a bit soggy you know so you boil your fresh carrots and you get more nutrients that way salad too often. You're making potato salad, you're making it proper. Can I think about a healthy no. potato salad? There's nothing about a healthy potato salad. You have to put sufficient dressing. You don't eat it all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hey, Outside. you two guys. Yeah. I like how they're looking right here. So let me see Sana when you get back by your mommy there. Mm -hmm. My dad, hey. my dad, son. Raise your heads, Luis. Hello, Sana. Good up. Up the head, up the head, Sana. Very good, very good. Okay, Lancey, I'm just going here to put in this um, This is the pumpkin mm -hmm. marinated with onion, garlic, and pepper. Mm -hmm. And properly softened. The peas have been washed. Um, it's canned, canned peas. So it was drained and, and rinsed. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to... That looks really good. And the pumpkin really adds the flavor. Eh? Yes, and it helps to thicken it too, you know? Uh -huh. So we will let that marinate together and then we'll add some coconut milk powder. Okay. Of course, a cup of love. Cup of love. Many cups, mommy. That's what makes the difference. Many cups, many cups. It's not so much a recipe, but it's cooking with love. Seasoned with love. As um, the, the, pluck, the, the pluck that Shivani brought, seasoned with love. Look at the first there. Mm -hmm. Seasoned with love. Mm -hmm. And this potato salad is seasoned with love too. How's it tasting? Good? Correct. Correct is right. Yeah, you know, beetroot syrup? Yes. Okay, so that will, that will add in some, some color. more sweetness too. And some color. The chicken, I'm smelling it. Mmm, I'd have to burn that now. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's really good. I just check that out? Yeah, yeah, that's on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I want to add some oregano. Sprinkle with oregano. We have some oregano in, in. and we take this one. Huh? With the other arm. Um, it has fresh oregano in the back. Okay, great. We're looking for the other. 
with, with the balance of chicken that we we had before. Okay. Right. Some people will like the brown pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Because now it will get color to the bottom. Okay, moving right along. You better call this a family reunion, boy. Hmm? Well, this will be a very small family reunion. <laughs> yeah, nevertheless, somebody will represent somebody somewhere. It's a, it's um it's a immediate family reunion. Immediate family reunion. Not not with siblings and I don't know. I thought these were boiled and was cooling, but like as the stove remain on. Burnt. No, remember the oven on. All oh, right. And the heat penetrates to the <laughs> top. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, but they're supposed to have been. Are you going on? What time people come in here? About half twelve one. Sana, you what, you went out to get anything? Yeah, well, I could go and get the ice. Yes. I'm gonna come back. Do the rice. Right. Yeah, but the yeah. rice is the last thing. Ah, huh? I need to get some some chairs by myself. Right. Son, you leave that in the hand last one. Son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave that there. I'll come across that in a little while. So the last thing will be the rice. And the chicken and the, and the, the big chicken. Mm -hmm. Right? And that will be the last. Son, you took some oregano from the, from the garden? Yeah. And took the demand for the demand for the garden. Fresh oregano out of the garden. Mm-hmm. Let me try this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Marcy. I remember how much Ken enjoyed this fish and peas with coconut milk and pumpkin the last time he was here. Mm -hmm. So I hope that you try it again. She tried it, you know. She tried cooking it for Ken. Thank you. You want that taste so much? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, we also have kalu, mm, which I have. Um, but you you won't take that out yet. Mm. That was pre cooked yesterday, last night actually. Good music, man. Yeah, man. You always scratch up. Okay. Can I have to do that? Yeah. Okay, and I'll cut up the celery for you. Everything I cut up, treat in this bowl for me, right? You're gonna have a real good pair there, boy. <laughs> Mama? Mm -hmm. Cook with love, cook with love. Season with love. Love in the heart. Love in the heart. Love in the food. Love in the house. Love in the children. Mm -hmm. Pass it on. What is a good shot here? This is a lovely shot. 
Salah, you just need to look at me and smile, boy. Yeah. Grinding the um, grinding the pork garlic, and you smiling. <laughs> 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 I'm wicked, man. Tana, yeah. you grinding pork garlic, and you smiling. Right. Well, you have to smile your way through life now, you know. <laughs> you worry about being frowsy and worried about things. You wouldn't get through, you know. Everything piles up on you then. Yeah. But we are. Moving on. This is where this is where you add the cup of fluff. Okay. Small cup, big cup, medium size. Overflowing cup. Let's look real good, boy. Okay. <laughs> Spread it out, boy. All them beetroots. Spread them real well. Can anyone of you tell that Mangaluka is a back pain? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell by the way um, how I'm mixing this potato salad that Mangaluka does a pain there? Yeah? <laughs> Alright, Sana, so I think I need a man hand. No, I think you yeah, mix that enough, otherwise, we're going to put mashed potatoes. Okay, no. Yeah, I think that's good, ma'am. Yeah, it's mashing up. No, I don't mash up, man. It, it, it's well stirred. So this is for future use? This is to cook the rice. For oh, the rice, okay. Okay, Lancy, taste this and see. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I look forward to the big meal. It's having enough sweetness in it? Mm-hmm. What are you talking about, the minus? Taste the lasagna. With the potato? Mmm. Mm. Delicious, man. Taste that. Hats off to you cooks. Hats off to the cooks. Really good. Mmm. Mmm. Let's wipe it around. Oh, I should put it into... Is it your car? Are you here? Yeah. I had a, I have a bowl to put. Keep an eye on your piece, eh? I had a thing on here. I don't know, but keep an eye on the piece because it's piece delicate, you know? Piece is very delicate, you know, just burn. But I know you know what you're doing. Sana, there was a, um, a sort of pinkish dish for the potato salad. Oh, look at that crust there. Yeah, but um, you can't put that in that now, no? Okay. Let me, let me just get that covered and push that in the fridge. Mmm. That was very cooked with love, boy. Look at that here. See. Cook so neat and big. Only, only one carrot, only one thing I'm um, corn. You cook with rice, right? Yeah, I mean, you're gonna put some carrots. 
So what, you have to cut out them carrots? Yeah, they can be now. Well. No, well, well, never. Mm -hmm. Coconut milk has been added. You put in any grain seasoning in this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I put the grain seasoning in a bottle. Okay. Mm. How much are about two to three tablespoons? Ah, um, maybe two. Right, when you cut up the celery, mommy, you yeah. put it in the spoon. Right, and the carrots too? Well, let me put no room in, in it for the, the carrots. Okay. Stop this at, at this point, right? What's happening here? We're gonna just fry a bunch. Quick little savory rice. Savory rice? Yes. Mm. Garlic, ginger, a lot of green seasonings. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to cook out some of the starch mm. from the corn and the carrots. With the savory rice we're getting. Savory rice. Mm -hmm. A very popular dish over here. Yeah, man. Once you throw something in rice, it's savory, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's cook in this one a bit. Mm -hmm. If you don't cook this enough, what will we'll end up happening is that your rice could sour quickly. Ready? The amount of sugar content in it. Okay, okay. In the rice? Yeah, but we will not have all this food on. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 The hills are really dry, eh? What? I saw coral well burnt yesterday, boy. Yeah. Lots of hill fires. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put all that rice to fit in the one pot? I'll put it whatever I could fit. Okay. And that should give us enough. Okay. Because we have a lot of potato salad. Mm. I like how you guys taste food, you know. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle a little bit on the palm here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Abigo! Hey, Abigo! You good? Good, man, you? Good, man, good, good! <laughs> He's a hearty fellow, eh? Yeah. Make sure this well salted so you won't have to, you have to add too much to the rice. In she goes. 
an avalanche of rice. Mm. Yeah. Like all will fit. Most of it, yeah. yeah. Everybody will eat. Yeah, man, they all go in. Every grain, eh? Mm hmm. You're not gonna add any water to that or anything? No, no, no. Mm. But I'll definitely sprinkle some more salt on top here because I don't. The color is coming in there. Mm -hmm. That's right, boy. Mm -hmm. No, I would have definitely like. A little sesame oil in this spot. No, we don't. Mommy particularly don't want. Oh. Um. But she has. Yes. Oh. But she doesn't want Chinese. No, flavor. no. She what? Well, I guess she will be in keeping. I will consider this to be something like somewhat of our Christmas lunch. Okay. Yes. 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 You want to keep it that yes that uh, traditional taste. Mm -hmm. But we have enough going on here. Oh, yeah. Anything more to color that? Or that? No, this will be it. That'll be it. Yeah. One time it's just about really mixing in everything well. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't want to boil your rice too soft. Right, because it has to go cook, be cooked again almost. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it will just break apart while you're trying to do all this mixing. Right. Yeah. Let me see the expression of man as a... Yeah, man at work, yeah. Man at work. Man no at slow work. man at work. Huh? No slow man at work. Nah. Oh, boy, that looks really good. I'm just trying to make sure it's mixed up. Mm. <coughs> oh, here comes the Viva. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it, guys. Next time you see us, it's the teas. You're looking good. <laughs> yes, mommy. The finished product? Almost? Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's for the dead. Our neighbor provided this. Thank you very much, Phil and Francis. What is this? The That's Tamil? the Tamil pie. Ah, the Tamil pie. Very good. Mm? Everything not on the table yet. But no, well, no, no, but it's okay. Well, every, this every... is potato salad here. Uh huh. Great. And this is for the little. Tamil pie. The Tamil pie again. Okay. What's under here? Oh, this is cake, eh? Done by our neighbor again. Thank you. Neighborly people. All right. Mm -hmm. I love the pigeon peas. Pigeon peas, right. So, we're going to start now so I can um, take this off? Yeah, I guess so. We'll start. And you have here? Callaloo. Oh, boy, Callaloo. And let me see you. That's important to me. Hey, hey, Mama Lou. Hey, Mama Lou. Very lovely. Very lovely. Looks really great. She's taking on everything. She must be where she was in the kitchen. I know. She's sleeping good. Yeah. yeah? It's been there. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh. Okay, Ermin. <laughs> Our good friend Ermin Allen. Yes. From St. Mary's. Maruga Fifth Company. Yes. Nice to have you back, Ermin. Thank you very much. Right, right, right. Very and it's good to be here again. Very good, very good to be here. And thanks for your invitation. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. You keeping well these days? Pardon? You keeping well these days? Very. Thank you. Good.